This is the formal method for multiplication. We're going to start with short. So I'm going to start with an equation like 37 times 5. So we're going to get the units, which is 5, times 7 units, which is 35. And that is 3 tens and 5 units, so I'm going to put my 3 tens up here. And then I'm going to move on to 5 units times 3 tens, which is 15, or 15 tenths. I'm now going to add on my 3 tens from 5 times 7, and that will give me 18 tens. So I'm going to write it down there. And so that gives you the answer of 185. Now that you know this method, you can adapt it to do decimal calculations or even longer calculations. So we're going to start with 37.98 times 5. So 5 times 8 gives you 40 hundredths or 4 tenths. So write my 0 there and carry the 4. Now I'm going to do 5 times 9, which is 45, and carry the 4, which would give us 49. So write my 9 and carry the 4. Now I'm going to do 5 times 7, which would give us 35, but then we have to carry the 4, giving us 39. So carry the 3. Now I'm going to do 5 times 3 to finish off, and that will give us 15 added to my 3, will give us 18. So in total, that will be 189.9. Now we're going to move on to long multiplication method. We're going to do a multiplication method like 84 times 25. So first I'm going to start with just making everything 5 times bigger. So 5 times 4 is 20, carry my 2 over here. And then 5 times 8 is 40, carry the 2 makes 42 or 420. Now we're moving on to 20 times 84. And we're going to shift everything down a place value because it's 20, not 2. So I'm going to put my 0 as a placeholder in there. Now 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times 8 is 16. So write my 16 down here. Now I'm just going to add these up because what we've actually done is partitioned it in a way to make it 5 times 84 and 20 times 84. So I'm just going to add it now. And so that will give us the answer of 2,100.